What's well, everyone? This is Bricks for you, and I just want to quickly say before I jump into this at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, when watching this, it I should be live on the Bricks for Gaming channel streaming the full release of Modern Warfare 3. I cannot wait to see you there. Now into the actual video. What's up everyone? This is Brooks for you and today we have the Call of Duty Desert Tank. I purposely released this video due to the fact that it will coincide with Modern Warfare's release. So yeah, so first off let's kind of take a look at the box. Now I love the overall terrain they keep putting these Call of Duty sets in. It just looks really, really nice. Now I, for a set with 900 pieces, I would not think it would take me as long as it did, but it took me almost Four and a half hours. I mean, it was a difficult build, which is, again, um, interesting for a set of its part count. But yeah, so you see on the back, you know, what is included, three figures, your vehicle, and everything else. Now let's get right into it. Now that we have the set out of the box, I just want to take a very quick look at our, we have three figures in this set, Captain Price and two unnamed soldiers. Personally, I like to think of this one as Sandman, even though I know it isn't. I just wanted to quickly show it off. I'm going to uh, move these to the side so we can take a look at the actual vehicle. Now, this, I've been told, is a Bradley. Uh, I saw a Jane Ricks video on it. I've also asked multiple of my friends who are much more eligible on these things than I am. And they all agreed. I'm not going to talk about the actual vehicle itself. I'm only going to talk about the set in front of me because I would embarrass myself otherwise. So first off, I love the plate detailing on site, and of course, Mega is just beautifully speckled pieces. I have these two backpacks and these treads. You can see the little, um, almost like coils underneath. Now, these treads I've heard do snap over time, which I hope does not happen to mine, but if so, this is going to be, you know, for display anyways, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. I actually just noticed this entire side, I think I've put on one stud too far over. So I'm going to go and fix that. Okay, and I fixed it. So let's just take a look at the side. We have all of these like little handrails. Now again, I do not know enough about the actual vehicle to say much, but uh, you know, it, it is cool. You can uh, have like a figure uh, hold on to the side like this. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. There is also a shovel up here. Now you take a look at the back, we have these two little lights, and you'll notice right over here, one of the two missing pieces I had in this set, I was missing a 2x2 two two in tan, and a 1x2 in the correct green, you can see it right there, I've actually had substitute a, a Halo Infinite green brick. Um, see how that is unfortunate? Now, we can move this entire top section off. Take a look at the inside. We have this, like, little area to control like, the turret area. You have this other screen back there. And, of course, more missiles for the uh, tow um, launcher. You have your main uh, like driver's seat up there. It has some more cons consoles there and a actual turning stick. It's really nice. And then you see a little bit of, like, engine detailing, some little pipe detailing here. You can actually break the front okay um you can actually just move this whole section up right here you can see like an engine part so you guess if you want to use this in a diorama for like repairs you can and you can actually already see on my camera i'm having real problems trying to keep these sides on it's not that hard but it's just that honestly these parts don't always like to uh stick together very well they're they're they very much are hard to get into place now, there's just, again, some very little detailing, like, right here. Uh, this section opens up. You have a uh, little, like, almost uh, antenna right there. Another little section right there. Um, have your barrel. This little grate right here. And, again, this can also come up. Then you have your actual missiles right here. You can, uh, I don't know if you can actually fire them or not, because I haven't actually tested it. I, yeah, so I guess if you hit the back of them, they just flick out a little, you know, it's, it's not much, but yeah, now, of course, this bit falls off, 
like a lot of things, as you'd expect, this whole area can not just fall off, but it can also spin. Now, this uh, turret section was actually the hardest part of the entire build uh, for me, which, yeah, it, it, it took a while. I mean, I got through the entire film, The Man of Steel, and... I got through most of the uh, Jack Snyder cut of Justice League. It took me that long on this. Um, first figure we have here is Captain Price. Now, I do not like this figure whatsoever. Uh, first off, the two parts of the head are the same, which I do not like the look of. And also, just honest, honestly, I do not like that face. I prefer some of the more recent Captain Prices, like the uh, War Zone and the specialist series from Modern Warfare 3. We have the little flashbang right here. I just attached this little belt accessory to him. Now we have the uh, not Sandman Sandman. Yeah, I mean, pretty basic. I love the almost like little skirt right here. And again, I mean, you, you know, your expected articulation. Then you have my least favorite figure in this set, which is this guy. I just don't like these balaclava minifigures because they, they look I don't know, I just don't really like the look of them. There's, I just don't have a lot to say about this figure in particular. Just, yeah. Now when we get to accessories. So first up, we have a uh, MP5. Comes with this little uh, strap. We have a riot shield. We have, according to Jengrix, I believe this is like an M40 or whatever. I don't know, MP40, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. This can, of course, just like the other Call of Duty guns, can be, uh, okay, except for the fact that the suppressor's staying on like that. But, uh, of course, it can be broken down. Essentially, if it's, if it's a part different than the uh, main color, it can be broken apart. Oh, wait, I just remembered something else I have to mention. Um, on the other gun right here, it's hard to notice. Oh, my God, you can actually notice very easily on camera. But uh, this piece is broken. It appears to be molded that way. That really, really sucks. Um, we have this, which I believe is supposed to be an RPD. I'm guessing. Um, love the uh, drum mag inclusion. And yeah, it looks really, really cool. Then we have this very, uh, we have this little canteen piece. Um, I think this is meant to be binoculars. I do not think it's a claymore in this set. Might be, though. Yeah, I think this is just binoculars. Sorry, because I also know there's a very, at least to me, my untrained eye is very similar looking claymore piece. Now we have these two backpacks, which can, of course, put on our other figures and can just be used to uh, hold the accessories that I am actively knocking off. You know, it can just ever so slightly... Just come on. Take the peg, buddy. Uh, I don't know why. It's, it's always so hard to get some of these mega attachments to work with each other. But there, you can uh, get them slotted in. You also have a very... Uh, it's hard to get this one in a good way, but a very World War II style flashlight. Then we have uh, two bipods, and then we have this weapons case. Um, oh wait, flip it around. And it has a very, very nice, like, felt inside. It's actually really, really nice. So yes, yeah, so you can give this the price. I'm guessing, again, based on the size, like Jane Brick said, you put the sniper in it, and yeah. So again, I think the, of course, standout highlight is the Bradley in this set. And again, I, I am worried for when the ten, for when the uh, treads inevitably snap. But uh, I will make an update video if they ever do that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm going to go sleep before the uh, campaign um, beta comes out. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.